Okay, uh, next tutorial we're doing is going to look at using something called the count if function to work out the number of grades um, in this table here. Use merge and center on the title so it goes across this part here. And the next video after this, we'll actually show you how to do some conditional formatting. All three of these tasks here come under the um, advanced skills section in your control assessment. Um, so if you want to gain top grades, you need to be using um, some of these when it comes to your controlled assessment. So the count if function, what we wanted to do is to go through and look at our cell range here and add up how many A's there are, how many B's there, C's, D's, E's, F's and U's for us and put the number there. So first thing we need to do is to highlight the cell range that we want to use. There it is, it starts at B3 and it ends at H7. One of the best ways to do this is to highlight and give this cell a name. Make sure you highlight exactly as you want it, okay? And you don't use any of the column headings. Once you've got that highlighted, you click up in here, in the name box up here, and give it a name and remember what that is. So I'm gonna call it grades and push enter. And whenever I highlight that now, it says grades. So the computer knows that this cell range here is called grades. So next thing we do, we want to put the former in here. Okay, now we can't use this one up here anymore. It's more an advanced formula. So next to your toolbar, you should have an FX. Now yours might look slightly different because I'm using a Mac and it just has a slightly different appearance to, the, to Windows PCs, but the principles are exactly the same. So I'm going to click on this and the formula builder opens. Again, it opens slightly different in um, in Windows, but if you type count if into the search bar, you should pop up, push enter, and find count if and double click it. And you should have a box open as well that's got range and criteria in there. Okay, so first thing we need to do then is tell the computer which range, which cell range. And if you remember, we just highlighted, filled all those out, and we called it grades. So you just type that in and if you got it right, it'll highlight the grades for you and you can see some of the uh, data that's in it there. And we want then to match criteria. So to find all the A's, we could type A, but because of the way I've got it labeled here, I can just click that cell. So it's gonna match what's in A10. So it's saying result is nine. So what it's doing is it's going through grades, going through this table here, and it's looking for whatever is in A10, which is the letter A. So it's going to find nine of those, which I presume hopefully is correct. It looks about right. And again, you can click on the tick and it should do that for you. Let's do this once more, okay, just to show you. So I'm going to do the Bs now. So I'm going to click over here. If you've lost the formula builder, you push again the formula builder up here, the FX insert function. It should remember it now in the most recently used. If not, type up in the search, but it's there. So the range, again, I'm gonna type the name of the sales I did, grades. And this time we're looking in for Bs, which I've got in um, A11. Oh, coincidentally, there's nine Bs as well. So click done. Here, oh, you can do the tick up in there, either works. And you can actually, if you close the formula builder down, go over here, and if you can, you can drag down and it should work it out there for you. So we've got nine A's, nine B's, nine C's, nine D's, two E's, an F and a U. Okay, so I could add these up there. So total and same as we normally did before, click on the sum function, I like the cells and there's 35 marks in there in the teacher's mark book. And so that's the count diff function. Merge and send is pretty straightforward. Get you marks for uh, um, advanced skills. Click on the merge and send tab because it's there twice you've got that. Takes the range that we've just highlighted and makes it into one cell where you can now do whatever you like with the format in. It just gives it that nice little layout, nice head into it there and makes it look good. Okay, so that's count diff. And next tutorial, we will look at using conditional formatting to shade every A we see in there, the color green.